Arsenal's ticket system is a joke this season. The ballot system does not work. It is unfair to loyal fans. Now, I'm not going to go into detail how the ballot system works in this video. I have already done that in another video, so a link in the description if you want to go check that out. But I am going to give you an update of my experience with the ballot system. What I think needs to change and how this is not fair on loyal Arsenal fans. Now, first of all, I am fed up with Arsenal saying that the ballot system is a fair system because it is not a fair system to anybody. It is not a fair system to the loyal Arsenal fans at all, the ones that have been going all throughout the bad times. It has not priorited anybody. So we are four games into this new ballot system now, and I have applied for three of those four games and got zero. Other people have got three or four games out of four. Now, that is not a fair system, and how does that work? How is that fair? It is not. As it says here, there is no limit to how many ballots a member can enter across the season. Members could apply for every ballot if they wish, and chances are the same for each. So if you've been picked... Say we're on March day 38, you've been picked for 37 games, well, 19 home games. I mean, it could be 37 games between FA Cup and Carabao Cup, Champions League. They're going to do it like that. But you've been picked for 19 home games and somebody else has been picked for zero games. That 37 game person has the same chance as a zero game person, which is totally and utterly unfair and does not warrant doing the system at all. The old system was not perfect. But at least you stand in more of a chance of doing it on a first come, first served basis. That is how a ticket system should work. It should be a first come, first served basis. It should not be like a competition because it's not a competition. You have to pay for your ticket. It's not a competition. It should be based on first come, first served. And the fact is, Arsenal have made a mess of the ticket system as well at the Emirates Stadium. This year, you have to use your phone to get into the stadium. You can no longer use one of these. Nope, this is not allowed anymore. It has to be on your phone, which is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, this is meant to be, I never used it, but this is meant to be a pay card. So these are prepaid cards so you can get Arsenal rewards. You can forget about the Arsenal rewards. We're gonna come on to that in a minute. Now, on Saturday, against Nottingham Forest, Arsenal tried out the new system for the first time and it was a complete failure. The system went into meltdown and the game had to be pushed back by half an hour. All because you now need to have your ticket on your phone and you cannot use a physical card. What's the reason for this? Well, I don't know what the reason is for it, but I do have a theory. I think this is to save Arsenal money on sending out physical cards because there has been a big rise in members. So it's a big, it's not a big cost, it's a little cost to them. But that is the only reason I can think of. They do not have to send out physical cards to new people. They do not have to replace physical cards if you lose it anymore and, and stuff like that. Now, I think that is totally unacceptable. Arsenal are charging you. £34 the membership now and for that nothing that is nothing is guaranteed you no longer get a membership pack and you no longer get a physical card it's all about money now but it means that you get nothing for your th £34 except for the Arsenal reward system is what they say I think you get like a hundred lousy shitty points which you can't redeem for anything and then you get more points as you go to games or you use your physical card for buying stuff except for you can't use a physical card to buy stuff now because it no longer exists except for if you already had one before so what is the point of the Arsenal Rewards membership because again you will not get any points if you cannot go to games you will not get enough points to get anything decent there's not that much there as it is so it is totally useless. Now, back to the ballot system. Arsenal, I found this on the website. Arsenal have put out a statistic as to how many members 
have actually got into games. So this is very interesting. The below table shows the percentage of chances. I will bring that up on a screen for you. It shows you percentage of chances of success for each ballot game that's been so far. So for the Nottingham Forest game, Silver members got 28%. Family got 33% and Red got 12%. For Fulham, it's 37% of Silver, 62% of Family, 12% Red. Manchester United, 35%. Silver 64 family 11% red Tottenham 22% silver 50% family red is still pending So not many there at all quite high for the family But I guess that's not many tickets. I don't know But it's not very good for silver at all. It's totally unacceptable In fact only 22% of silver members got into the Tottenham game. That is a totally unacceptable stick stick I thought that silver is meant to be priority, it's meant to be a higher chance, it's meant to be more rewarding, but it is not. So as I said earlier in the season, I have applied for three games. I've applied for Nottingham Forest, Manchester United and Tottenham, and I have got zero. Now I normally go to the North London Derby, I normally always get tickets. I got tickets last year, I got tickets the year before and then before Covid as well. But this year I won't be going, which I'm bitterly, utterly disappointed over because of this ballot system. I, and I, I really am starting to think that I will not get tickets to any games this season. There is 15 more games to apply for. And I'm starting to think that I will not get tickets this this season. I'm hearing that people have got four out of four or three out of three. And then I've got zero out of four. How is it a fair system? This needs to be a better and fairer system. It needs to be based on a first come, first served basis in the ballot. Now I get that Arsenal say that, you know, the reason why, one of the reasons why we moved away from the ticket system is because members can't be stuck in a queue. Okay, but a ballot system and a ticket system should be First come, first serve. So do the ballot system, you fill out the form and you get picked on a first come, first serve basis. That is a fairer system. That is an easier system. And that is how it should be done. Not this random system where you do not have another chance to go to any games. So, like, you know, if you get picked for a game, then you should get less chance for the next game. Or if you haven't got picked for a game, you should get a higher chance for the next game. But that's not how it works. You get the same level of chance. So you could be going to zero out of 30. It's not 38 games. But you could be going to zero out of 19 home games. Where somebody else could be going to 19 out of 19 home games. How is that a fair system? That is a totally unfair system. And it should not exist like that. Now I'm sorry for the moaning but... I don't believe in this system and it's starting to piss me off. Now, another thing is that membership should be capped. I get that there's a couple of season tickets. There's a cap on silver tickets, I believe. But there should be a cap on tickets because if you're going to charge for it, you need to be fair on how people have a chance to get into the game. Last season saw a big increase in red members and there are now over 200,000 red members and there are only about 5,000 red member tickets per game approximately maybe a bit more well it seems not as it seems there are only 3,500 red members allowed per game which is absolutely nonsense 200,000 red members 3,500 per game that is absolute nonsense but that is absolutely ridiculous 200,000 red members and of course you've got silver members junior members as well so it's not just red members that are trying to get into games there should be a cup on it to make it fairer and easier but of course arsenal are only caring about the money they are not caring about loyal fans right now because if they cared about loyal fans they would not do this system there would be more communication about it but there is not what is your experience on this ballot system so far how do you feel about this ballot system do let me know in the comments below now of course there were some complaints about the arsenal band not even getting tickets to the games that have been going 
for years. So nobody is safe from this ballot system. The only people who are safe are season ticket holders. Of course, that is a long, long, long waiting list after 30 years. In some cases, it could be. So that is not even an option to get that. But nobody is safe from this ballot system. So I will keep applying for every Arsenal home game at there is. And hopefully I will get tickets and keep you updated about it. Of course, we do not know yet how Arsenal are going to sell tickets to the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup. Of course, the all-important Champions League. I was really looking forward to the Champions League and hoping to go to a game. But if they do a ballot system, then my chances are very slim in going to a Champions League game, which is really going to be really annoying and, and really upsetting so we will have to wait and see whether it is going to be a balanced system or not hopefully not at least not in the group stages so i will keep you updated with how the balance system is going for me and how it's going in general if it's where we have another video later on in the season no doubt i will do that but thank you so much for watching up the arsenal make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep up to date smash a like on the video and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.